सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक वन सेकेंड टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू गिव यू स्मॉल रिव्यू ऑफ एम वन प्रो मैक बुक सो दिस वीडियो इज स्पेशली फॉर द पीपल दो वर्किंग टू द साइबर सिक्योरिटी फील्ड बिकॉज देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रीवर्सियल पार्ट एंड आई ऑन यूट्यूब आई गेस देर इज नॉट अ सिंगल रिव्यू ऑन एम वन प्रो मैक बुक स्पेशली फॉर द साइबर सिक्योरिटी पर्सन और फॉर द टेकिज पर्सन दो वर्किंग टू द डोमेन ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन सिक्योरिटी एंड साइबर सिक्योरिटी सो वी आर गोइंग टू बेसिकली कवर दैट पर्टिकुलर और स्पेसिफिक एरिया so i hope you are going to enjoy a lot of things in this video and at last just give me a small feedback so these are the couple of contents that we are going to cover in this video first we'll be starting with the introduction note then we'll be talk about the notch that comes pre with the uh, macbook then we'll talking about the app compatibility then a small uh, about uh, virtualization then a small things about bob suit for the wpt guys then we'll discussing about wireshark for the network analysis then we'll be covering some tools related to the people those who are working into web application pen testing or those who are working into forensics area like salute kit and autopsy we are going to give a small feedback about like this is compatible on using macbook or dot then i uh, overall thought about it and then at we will come up with a conclusion let's start so these are the couple of uh, marketing stuff like in the starting i am saying this is not a sponsored video even we are having a very small youtube channel so no one is going to sponsor so anyway i just got this image from the internet so basically it has been more than several months and several years since apple mac apple released the new m1 pro and m1 max macbook so they have added blazing fast m1 pro and max processor and removed the super fluorescent stretch bar added back lot of ports and added an eye searing bright screen and i'll be damned that bought back mix app for many this was the moment we had been waiting for so there's a lot of review however throughout all the content sometimes still is felt missing and most of the reviews i found focusing on the benchmark video photo editing and gaming so granting there are uh, there were a few focus on developers which is uh, there's a youtuber called D3V tech is pretty good one, but none really answer the burning question. And I probably and many follow cyber security professionals had how good are the new MacBook Pro for us. So I'm a Linux user from last six years, but some of my friend is using the MacBook with a specific version, and I soon found out the things was not as smooth sailing as initial thought. And there were many things about the M1 Pro. and max macbook that is reviewed never mentioned so important thing is that probably should be the shared with the developers and cyber security professionals before you plug these laptops so i have compiled a list of key takeaways that would hopefully help you to make a better purchasing decision so now let's start with uh, some uh, thing which is called notch so this is a basic image of the notch that you get on to macbook So let's start with something simple that everyone has been talking about the notch. So the notch module is uh, shown by the David Paul Q on Twitter, as you can see here. Uh, so basically, the house is not just a camera. This uh, MacBook, uh, like whenever we are using laptop, on the top there is a server which is most probably a camera. But here, this is not just a camera, but also a true tone sensor for. consistent color in different lighting condition and an ambient light sensor to adjust the screen color and uh, brighten based on the room's lighting i really like the improved cameras for video calls and it's crisps and the iso level make you look bright even in the dark room so this was a small uh, tweet from uh, person david porgy uh, and uh, it's mentioned like as you evaluate your opinion on macbook pros notch keep in mind that it houses more than just a 1080 pixel camera and it also houses the true tone sensor color and blah 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 and everything is mentioned about this and this is the module camera module if you are using window laptop then most probably you will get a single module this one okay this one is basically for this is a simple camera that you are getting on your screen but uh, there's a lot of thing on this system this is the true tone uh, sensor which is going to enhance the a uh, video quality overall figures so however as a security a cyber security person the first thing that i would always add to my laptop is the privacy cover 
for the webcam and hope you will to do it uh, you'll if you are going to buy this one privacy is basically incredibly important for every security conscious person want worth their salt with a naturally a skeptical of the heart so thus it is common to see these plastic uh, uh, blocks um, this this plastic uh, blinds being pasted over the laptop cameras to physically block the camera so there is a sliding mechanism you can get this particular things on the internet there is a sliding mechanism uh, like this is the basic uh, how this look like these are there is a sliding mechanism if you are using laptop then uh, if you if you want uh, access of your camera then you can slide it here if you want uh, to just uh, block your camera then you can slide it here then it's uh, it will going to cover your camera and no one will be able to see you so uh, basically when the notch arrives it become quite an issue to find a privacy cover that would not cover the screen or other sensors in the notch so at least i have not found the right solution yet so if this is a big concern for you maybe uh, wait till some someone come up with a good solution or if you are okay with the mucking up the sensor just paste a tap like the mark you can work paste it on the laptop so there was a photos come a few years back so this was the system of mark jukerberg like here you can see he is a mark i think all knows so he just hided his camera by uh, keeping up a tape and here is some sort of sensor it was also hided with the some sort of tapes so most probably if you are using your laptop then you should have to bind it from the tape whatever tape you want you can bind it from there now let's talk about the app incompatibility so basically the pen testers have an arsenal of apps in the tools to get the job done but as far as i know the m1 macbook do not make it easy to wield some pretty common tools and turn out the biggest issue with the new macbook was with something that had already re released a year ago which is apple silicon now the virtualization why virtualization is uh, in the trending section of this macbook so for mo for most of the user virtualization and virtual box was their go to virtualization app in late 2013 macbook pro running intel however moving to apple silicon like uh, the m1 is uh, working on uh, it's having apple silicon and uh, i think you should understand that virtual box does not work any any more in this version so the apple itself launch, launches the fine with rosta 2 but vms will not even arm arm 64 ones so the lack of support has been confirmed in the support ticket as well here you can see with the version i am able to install uh, vmware 2 so these are the couple of uh, answers from the community so thanks to there is another alternative if you are using m1 then there is one more alternative which is called uh, vmware fusion so in september 2021 vmware announced a tech preview of fusion for apple silicon few people have been testing virtualization ubuntu servers 20.4 and it is it has been working smoothly so far so of course the fusion tech preview would still have a wide range of issues for example installing vmware tools for default way does not work by clicking reinstall vmware tools in the option menu and you'll have a manually install it in the support vm on arm64 ubuntu this is done on the command line with so this is the couple of commands that you can run to go through with all this thing uh, for md64 and all those stuff so for kali users there is a arm64 version but vmware tools unfortunately do not seems to have working yet for window it uses and it used to be pretty bad as microsoft only has a preview of arm64 version of uh, window 10 and fortunately in september 2021 they released as much better window 11 arm64 version and guide is also available in the internet and as alternative if you really need 64 bit is to use parallel but the full version is not free so virtualization seems to be still quite limited for the m1 chips and although the situation seems to be improvement some ctf courses or even daily work will require using vms to explore preloaded software or to conduct forensics so it 
it may be quite unfortunately to have to be unable to run those VMs if they are 64 bit based. So for booting Linux natively, the Linux kernel still seems to be unstable for daily use with M1 Max, but progress is being made and there are projects like ASCII Linux trying to solve the this and they recently on October 2021 got it running. And uh, Linus Torvedo himself uh, announced an update to the Linux kernel that adds critical support to ARM chips including the M1. Okay, so these were the couple of uh, updates regarding uh, if you are using the virtual box then this is going to work or not. Now I am having some more a couple of things that will be going to help you. Okay, and. Uh, let's proceed with the next part like right now we have covered the virtualization section then uh, let's understand like bob suit most of the people are using if you are in cyber security or web application pen testing so basically bob suit is a key tool for pen tester to analyze network traffic on m1 macbook and it seems to be working although and i have an in initial hiccup trying to launch the inbuilt chromium browser and however a uh, restart seems to fix the issue so the problem starts when running bobsuit on an ARM64 Linux VM which is valid use case when trying to keep research to the sandbox environment and currently as of 3 norm uh, in, in, in the last year in November I guess bobsuit is not compatible with ARM64 Linux OS ES and this is an awkward problem since the base Mac OS is able to run bobsuit through Roesta 2 but Linux VM is uh, on the same machine and is not able to many apps will also be in such a situation now the next uh, thing is Wysock so another extremely popular network analysis tool is YXR and it seems to work fine on Mac OS with Roasta 2 and uh, like this is not Roasta 2 this is Big Sur and it seems to work fine on Mac OS with uh, Roasta 2 as I told you and the Ubuntu VM was able to install on ARM64 version just fine with uh, this command and however the other Linux distro may not have a pre-compiled version and thus you need to compile via yourself now the next thing is the salute kit and autopsy which is uh, for forensic people so this is a favorite digital forensic tool is the salute kit and the autopsy but unfortunately running autopsy on ARM64 does not seem to be straightforward. So firstly the official instructions are only suitable for 64 arch architecture so some adjustment will be need. Secondly um, it seems to indicate further problems as the version of TSK required by the autopsy is not available in ARM64 format. So for those who are who are like playing CTF this may be a quite a ban. Now our all thoughts. So there are plenty of other apps that could be tested but think the point has been made. Dealing with apps in competitivity will be main theme of working with the M1 Macbook. And on and the earlier M1 laptop and M Mac mini would have already experienced the worst of apps in competitivity. But was surprised that many common developer and pen testers app today are still not fully compatible with it. M1 ARM64 even with Rasta 2 chipping in Poon Intensity. So the most trying aspect of dealing with the incompatibility is that a lot of apps do not clarify document whenever they support M1 or not. So in, in creating this video and review a lot of evidence pointed to our incompatibility had to be dug out from the forum and comments boxes rather than official documentation. So you may yourself find uh, yourself spending a lot of time trying to find answers and uncertainly of trying to figure out if the issue will on app is due to some bug or that the app genuinely does not support M1 can get quite trading. So I definitely found it frustrating to determine app continuity so to track this in a more suitable way and uh, to tap into the power of community someone created a simple website which is called berlin.com so here you can click on projects 
So this is basically you can view the list of the tested cybersecurity apps and uh, also can submit the request or share complete knowledge for the apps and hope you will find it useful. Just click it here and here you go. You can find which other apps are compatible with this uh, MacBook version and uh, which is uh, with uh, ARM64 and Rostar 2 and where when it was uh, lastly updated you can even click here it might be going to open something it's not working anyway so this was the thing so at last uh, you can find it out at last conclusion let's conclude this video with some couple of uh, interesting part so some final th thoughts about the m1 line of macbook is the battery life the 40 inch battery is still last longer for the time of coding and running vms and won't be worried about rushing to find a charger point in the middle of the day so this is pretty fine camera life uh, battery life camera it is incredible for zoom meeting calls and this is as i told you previous 1080p camera you are getting keyboard basically this is better than the butterfly keys which was previously available in the macbooks and it's still solar than the late 2013 keyboard but more tactical ports what about the ports because in the previous macbook and according to their report they are very less ports for you so sdmi is super welcome to the presentation without dongles but the headphone jack is actually less useful to me now after moving to bluetooth so these are a couple of things so if not for the app compatibility issue the new laptop are a very welcome upgraded if you have an intel laptop you may want to keep it around for a while just in case why developers continue to work on ARM64 and M1 compatibility. So thank you very much for watching this video and this video is being recorded on November 16, 2021 so this might be a very much uh, might be a little bit older for you because we have recorded on that particular day and we are uploading it on uh, 6 May 2022 so I hope you found something new to learn from this video and uh, I know this video is not much detailed but hope you got a lot of things to learn so thank you very much for watching this video once again Jai Hind